Hi, okay, this is the second of the monetization videos. Uh, by this point, you should watch the first one and already have your Google AdSense codes, your HTML code for the AdSense ads uh, and be ready to actually use them. So what we're gonna look at in this video is two separate plugins, one that's very, very simple to use um, but not as powerful and the other one that is very powerful very sophisticated but fairly easy to use it's just a bit more there's a bit more to it than the really simple one so I'm going to show you both so you can choose which one you're going to use I really recommend the second one um, but let's go ahead and have a look at both the two AdSense plugins that we're going to look at are called the first one's called awesome Google AdSense and the second one if we scroll down is called quick AdSense okay um, so these are the two that you want to install if you want to play with them both. If you just want to play with the better of the two, then Quick AdSense is the best to use. Okay, so go through the normal process of installing a plugin, click on Add New, type in the name and install it and activate it. Then it will show up in your settings panel here. So let's actually go and have a look at the first one, which is Awesome Google AdSense. Okay, this is the control panel for Awesome Google AdSense and it really is simple to use. All you need to do is grab your publisher ID, which you've obviously made a note of, as per the previous video, from Google AdSense. So you grab your publisher ID, pop that into this box here, and if you have a channel that you want to use as well, again, grab the channel from your Google AdSense account, come back and just pop that into here, custom channels, and then you can simply change the, the border colors, the colors of the text link, text color, etc. Now here's the what I don't like about this plugin, the sizes that are available, the best is 468 times 60. There isn't the large rectangle size, the 336 times uh where is it? 336 times 280. That's a favorite size of AdSense ad group, and it's not available under this. If it was, this would actually be a bit better. So I if I was using this, I'd simply go with the 468 times 60 and I'd randomize it twice within each post and each page, uh, leave the ad type as text. Um, obviously you can have it as text or image or ad image, but for that size banner, generally it's gonna work better as text. Ad placement, that's whether it's uh, whereabouts within the page or the format it appears, so whether it's uh, left aligned, center aligned or right aligned basically. Um, you can also, for instance, top left will make sure that any text that's around it forms around it on the right hand side and below. So you can play around with those ad settings. Generally, because we're really just looking at the 468 times 60 banner size, center will do fine. You can also decide whether you don't want it to appear on any of these pages. Don't worry about that. And just uh, there is an option to have a donation there. That's not what we want. We want save changes down the right hand side corner here. Okay, so. This is awesome Google AdSense. That is really how quick and easy it is to set up. And that's the one that in your posts, it's gonna appear in this particular format here. This is the 468 times 60 banner. And this particular blog is using that plugin. So it's appearing twice within the actual ad itself, or the post itself. So here's the second time and that's it. So this plugin, it does the job, but it does it really, really simply. There's no sophistication there. So it's not what I'd recommend unless uh, you want to keep it really simple. If you do, fine, go ahead and use this one. What I do recommend though instead is to play with a quick AdSense one. We'll have a look at this now and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so this is the quick AdSense settings page and straight away you'll notice that there appears to be a lot more going on. Well, yes there is, it is a more sophisticated plugin, but it is actually quite easy to use, okay? And I'm gonna run through how I recommend that you use this. Now, first of all, let's have a look at the, the part at the top where it says place up to X number of ads on the page. Basically, Google will only allow you to have three AdSense adverts on a page unless you're using some other form of advertising as well. Now for the moment, I'm gonna leave it as three because that's generally all I'd use anyway. Even if we do put more adverts on there, such as Amazon adverts, then they're for a particular purpose and increasing the number of Google AdSense ads, we're just gonna end up with too many ads and the whole page becoming over advertised or over hyped, you know, too much going on without enough content. So it doesn't really work having too many ads and upping this number. So I highly recommend that you just stick with three. Okay, so before we have a look at the 
extra settings we have here, such as position, appearance, and quick tags. I'm going to scroll down a bit, and we're going to actually pop in the AdSense codes. Okay, these are our different AdSense AdSense blocks that we set up previously in AdSense, um, and we're going to put them into different numbers. Now, you can't use the same code in more than one box. So, for instance, our large rectangle here, the 336 times 280, I'm going to highlight that and copy it. And we're going to put that into AdSense 1. I cannot repeat it in AdSense 2, 3, or 4. If I do, or if I try to do so, the plugin won't display it correctly, okay? So if you want to have more than one rectangle ad, you'll actually need to go back and set up another one with a different name and or channel and use that for a separate uh, large rectangle ad, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the large rectangle in the first one. The second one, I'm going to go for the 468 times 60. So I'm going to again copy that, go back, paste it in here. You can see why we put this all these codes into a text pad earlier because we can just copy and paste them every time we need to use them. And the last one I'm going to copy here is the uh, 468 times 60 link units. I'm going to copy that one and go back and I'm going to put that in as add three. Uh, and that will do it for the moment. Those are the three that I'm generally going to be using. So I'm going to go down to the bottom and save these. There is another option to put ads uh, into add widgets that you can then use the widget menu to put them in your sidebar but again as I said we don't want to overdo the number of AdSense ads so we're not going to use that okay you can actually just put them in a text uh, widget anyway but obviously if you are using this it allows the plugin to manage the number of ads that you are displaying from AdSense to make sure you stay within the terms However, my recommendation is that you place an Amazon contextual ad with search box in that sidebar rather than AdSense. Okay, so let's stick with that for the moment and scroll down and we're just going to click on save changes now that we've got those AdSense banner codes in there so that we can use our ad block one, two and three and just go through and do the settings for the position. Okay, whilst there are quite a few of them, the position settings are really quite simple once you read them. So for instance, the first one is we can assign ad number one or anything from the list or even random to the beginning of the post. Well, that's exactly what we want to do. We want a large rectangle, which we put into ads one block down below at the bottom of the page. We want that to appear at the beginning of the post. Okay, simple as that. We also want our ad number three, which was our link unit ad, to appear at the end of the post. So what we do for that third setting, we go to ad number three from the drop down list, make sure it's ticked. So we now have the large rectangle appearing at the beginning and the unit ad appearing at the bottom. Okay, we've then got our 468 times 60 and we can decide where we want that to appear. Now I'm just gonna tick the option here and put it as add to, so it will appear in the middle of the post. But we could have it appearing, for instance, after the first image, or after the more tag, or after a certain number of paragraphs. So you've got lots of ways in which you can play around with whereabouts in the post your adverts appear, okay? So very, very powerful, basically. Now, the next set of settings, if we scroll down a bit, appearance, this is where and uh, whereabouts on your pages within the blog these adverts are going to appear. Obviously, we want them on posts and on pages, but you can then decide whether you also want them appearing on the home page. Just remember that if you do choose to have them appearing on the home page, it can look a little bit odd because they won't appear on all of the posts. So I'm actually going to tick that. Um, I normally do have them appearing, although I have found that certain niches it's better not to have them appearing on the home page, and then more people will actually click through the posts and actually click on ads, uh, but that does vary from niche to niche. What I'd actually recommend is experimenting with this one. Have it switched on for a week and see what you do, then have it switched off for a week and make sure the uh, traffic levels are comparable, and then you'll be able to see which works better for this particular niche that your blog's in. Now let's actually have a look at an example of what I mean by it can look odd. This is a blog where I have got it switched on for them to appear on the home page. And as I scroll down, you'll see what I mean. The first one, the first 
page or the first post appearing on the home page has the ads appearing as the link units at the bottom. The second one has a large rectangle. Now I haven't actually got it at the top of the post and this one I've got it appearing uh, two or three paragraphs in so it's under the title. And again here, two paragraphs in, and we've got a large rectangle. So those are the first three posts. And after that, because of that only three ads rule, it doesn't appear again. So all the rest of the posts, there's no ads on. Okay, that's what I mean about it uh, can appear odd because it's only showing ads on those first three individual posts. Okay, now you may have also noticed on this one, it does actually have ads, AdSense ad right at the top, but that's because I pop those into the theme itself and those aren't being automated by that plugin. So that's an extra one. Now I can get away with that on this blog because I have other ads such as Amazon ads and some banner ads going on as well. So I can get away with that. But generally, that's one of the things you need to be careful of. If you've got AdSense ads appearing in the theme as well as that plugin, you may end up with more than that three rule appearing. You've got to be careful of that. Okay, uh, but as I said, the important thing here is for you to test this out and see whether it works better or not. You may find that it works better without those ads appearing on the home page, in which case simply come back here and untick that box. OK, my suggestion, as I say, try it. I'd actually have it switched on for all four of these to start off with uh, and see how that goes and play around with the settings and see which works best for each individual niche. OK, the last setting here is the quick tag. This simply allows you to switch off quick tags in posts themselves um, so you can have it on or off. I tend to leave it on simply because although I don't use it, it's there if I need it. Uh, to give you an idea of exactly what it is, it allows us to pop ads into the post while we're actually doing the post. Now these buttons only show up when we're on the HTML tag. If we go to visual, they're not there. So you need to go to HTML, choose whereabouts in the post you want your ad to appear, click on it and it'll hard code that ad code in. Obviously this overwrites the plugin settings, but if you're using the plugin on the automated basis, why bother with this? It's there in case you need it, but generally you shouldn't. So feel free to switch it off if you want. I don't bother, I leave it switched on just in case I do need it. Okay, so then scroll down to the bottom, click on Save Changes, and once it's updated and the settings are saved, we'll have a look at the adverts on our blog. The Disable Ads widget on home page, similar sort of thing, again, falls into this three ads rule. If you're showing the ads on the home page and you want to, them to appear in those first three posts, then you should probably have this switched off. Um, I'd actually recommend having it switched off anyway, especially as we haven't actually put any code into the ad widgets boxes down below either. So generally my recommendations leave that off because we're gonna put an Amazon ad in the sidebar instead. Uh, hide ads when user is logged onto WordPress. Yeah, I'd leave that switched off as well. Okay, so we've saved the settings. What we need to do now is go across to our blog and simply hit refresh. And in theory, our AdSense ads should start showing. But as you can see, that just refreshed and nothing's showing. Now, don't panic if this happens. There's a perfectly reasonable reason for it. And it is usually simply because the theme you're using isn't compatible with this plugin. It does happen. Um, so if that has happened to you, all you need to do is go to your appearance page, go to your themes and try it with a different theme. OK, now in this case, I'm going to go to one of my favorite themes, uh, the blog tactics vintage theme and I'm going to simply choose to activate this and once that's activated we'll go back and refresh the blog again and see what happens. It may take a second or two, that was pretty quick. There you go, you've seen it's refreshed and we've now got the AdSense ad appearing because this particular theme does work with the plugin. So if you're having problems with the AdSense ads appearing, simply go back to your themes and find a different theme that it does work with. That's worth uh, pointing out as well, there are some themes, like this one for instance here, this is an AdSense theme and it has areas within the theme maintenance specifically for AdSense ads. So you wouldn't need to use the plugin if you're using this theme. 
Um, you simply paste the code into the relevant boxes within the, the theme administration area. So there are different ways of using AdSense. This plugin is my favorite way of doing it, but you do have to use it with a theme that works with it. So uh, the one I was using there previously doesn't, this does. Now you'll also have noticed, however, this is appearing centrally uh, and it's above the title and it's maybe, you know, it's it's not quite how I want this to appear. I probably want it sort of here under the title and inside the text to a degree. So what we can do is go back to our quick AdSense plugin and play with the settings further. So the two settings I'm going to change is instead of ads one appearing at the beginning of the post, I'm going to say I want ads one to appear, oops, wrong box. I want ads one to appear after paragraph one. So it will be after the title. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to say I want it to appear on the left rather than in the center. Okay. And again, down to the bottom, click save changes and we'll go and review that to see what that then looks like on the blog. Okay, so we'll hit refresh on the blog and get the updated version. Now, it's not appearing on the first two posts, but it is appearing inside the body of the text itself now on the third post. Not sure where it's not appearing on the first two. Uh, it looks like this plugin can be temperamental at times. As I showed you previously on the other blog that I've got it set up, it does show ads on the first three posts on the homepage. Uh, on this one, it's not possibly because I haven't got any other adverts on here, so it's managing the ads to make sure I don't have too many appearing. However, if we just click on one of the posts and go and actually have a look inside the post itself, we can see, again, here is the advert. It's showing up after the first paragraph, um, and then we've got the second one appearing. That's probably a bit too soon, uh, but that looks like it's just because it's a short article. And then we've got the third, uh, third set of adverts, the link units advert, at the bottom here. So you can see the plugin doing what it's supposed to do. I may actually move that back up to the top of the post rather than having it after paragraph one because then the second one does occur or appear too quickly. So let's quickly play with those settings and I'll come back uh, and show you what that looks like then. Okay, so simply change the settings back from after paragraph one up to the beginning of the post for ads one. And if I go back to the blog post and just refresh it, uh, okay, it's not coming up correctly because of the cache. Once again, uh, if I go to a different one, let's have a look. And there it is. It's now appearing at the top. But my tweet this and my share on Facebook, those buttons are now appearing in the title. So perhaps I might want to realign those and position them at the bottom of the post instead of the top so they don't get in the way and make this messed up. Uh, basically, with a plugin like this, you are going to have to play around with the settings to get it to appear exactly how you want. Okay. But as I said, the reason I like it and I'm going to recommend it for you to use is it does what we need for the main post, which is put the large rectangle at the top and then a random 468 times 60, well not random, but somewhere in the middle of the post and then the link units at the bottom. Those three ad groups are the ones that tend to work best or have worked best for me. Um, so that's what I recommend you run with. And this plugin is the easiest way to automate that. Okay, in the next video, we'll look at adding uh, contextual ads and banner ads from Amazon and put some of those into our sidebar and potentially into some banner positions on the blog as well, depending on the theme you're using. So please feel free to move on and watch the next monetization video. Thanks very much.